All right, good morning. So let's take a look to see what's happening in the markets today. And today is Friday, June 4th, and we're doing this so that you know what's going on. And with me in the studio is my head coach, Mark Hodge. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Now, the big event this morning is the jobs report because the May jobs data will be a key factor in determining the, the, the path of the Fed policy in the coming months. And we'll take a look at this here in just a moment. But let's talk about yesterday. So coming into today, what happened yesterday, Mark? Yeah, you know, uh, yesterday the major indices finished lower across the board. The Nasdaq was leading the major indices down, so tech stocks taking a bit of a beating. Nasdaq finishing lower by about one point one percent, a little more than one percent. Um, so tech really, you know, taking the brunt of it. But it was a wild session, especially early on in the morning, because uh, the major indices opened lower. Then they, they really just went into a, a free fall. They bounced right back and then traded sideways for the rest of the day. Yeah. So this year, if, you, if you're looking at uh, the morning session, there's a five minute chart of the Dow. So we opened here, went lower and then whoopee, yay. And uh, nah. let's see what happens because everybody is waiting for the report. And so this is why also yesterday the Nasdaq went down because if this morning the job report comes in much better than expected, then the Fed might actually uh, at their next meeting, which is mid-June, so it's in uh, 10 days from now, something like this, they might say, OK, we're doing good. So let's actually start raising interest rates. And this would be bad for tech stocks. So uh, yesterday, if we're just going back to a daily chart and uh, looking at the, the main tech stocks here, Facebook yesterday down a percent, uh, Apple was down yesterday 1.22%. Uh, then what else? We had Netflix uh, that was down yesterday uh, around 2%. So all of the tech stocks are getting hammered. Uh, Google can take a look at that. So this is the fear of uh, what happens if we get better than expected jobs data. So and the jobs data came out. Shall we take a look at this? It did. It did. And after non-farm payrolls uh, were so strong, I mean, they came in great on Thursday. Uh, we it was interesting to see what would happen today, but uh, 559,000 jobs were added. And uh, this is after April's disappointing 278,000. So, you know, a, a big change there month to month, but the 559 was below forecast. Right. So I would say that it was a good jobs report, but not great. Not, not, not substantial where it's, just you know, knocking it out of the park. Well, yes. So slightly missed expectations there, but unemployment rate uh, dipped lower. Uh, so expected was 5.9% and the unemployment rate came in at 5.8%. So true. now the key question is, how does the market react to this? So uh, kind of mixed signals here. And uh, let's go actually to, uh, let, let's go to the, to the NASDAQ futures here and uh, take a look at a, at a five minute chart here. And this is where we see it is all over the place. So this is the reaction here to the report. It's like, OK, yay, uh, we, we missed the, the number that was expected. So this means that the Fed is probably not going to do anything. Oh, but we only missed it by a little bit. So they might do something. Eh, maybe they don't. So I, I mean, this is where right now looking at the Nasdaq, it is a super wild ride for growth stocks. On the other hand, I mean, if you're looking at the S&P or even here at the Dow, so the Dow for growth, uh, not growth stocks, for value stocks, right? I mean, the Dow said, OK, UBIA, we're staying up here. So yeah, we clearly see that the Nasdaq really nervous uh, of what the Fed will do when they have their meeting. And their meeting is coming up uh, on June uh, 15 and 16. So today is the fourth. So we have another 11 days. So it's not next week, but the week after. And this is where we'll see if there are any policy changes. And that, that will be the big one. So thus far. Dow is happy, S&P is kind of happy, NASDAQ uh, is, uh, what are we doing here? <laughs> kind of don't know. Yeah, and either way, it looks like we're setting up for a higher start today. So that's uh, futures pointing to a higher start. Okay. So let's talk about uh, the meme stocks. Uh, I mean, AMC, <sighs> wild. what a wild ride yesterday, huh? Yeah, I mean, this one was all over the place, finished lower by uh, almost 18 percent. 
Um, I mean, rallying up to 68.80, down as low as 37.66. So this thing continues to go crazy. Down a little uh, pre-market, a little more than 4%. Yeah. Now, yesterday, uh, they announced yesterday morning that they will offer an additional 11.5 million shares uh, for sale. And they said, we will sell them from time to time. Well, apparently this from time to time was three hours because they did it yesterday. I mean, immediately <laughs> they turned around, sold the shares, brought in another $530 million in cash. Now, last night, their CEO, um, what's his name again? Aaron? Last name is Aaron, I believe. Can't remember it. But anyhow, the, the CEO was on a YouTube interview and say, you know what? Since we're doing really good, we plan to sell an another, an additional 25 million shares over uh, the next few days, weeks, hours. I, I mean, who knows? So another 25 million shares could bring in an extra billion plus dollar, depending on where they are selling it. And this quarter, they have already raised 1.2 billion dollars in cash. Now, with this additional buck. This will be more than two billion dollars. They can do a lot of damage with these two billion dollars. Yeah, I mean, super smart move by the company. Um, you know, doesn't help shareholders, uh, but it's you know we've kind of disconnected from fundamentals here. In fact, Bank of America they moved uh, Bed Bath and Beyond and GME, you know, two other meme stocks to a no rating. So they're not even giving ratings anymore because they say that the meme stocks. Are no longer trading on fundamentals. So, like, how do you, how do you rate it? And I mean, that's even <laughs> what the CEO said yesterday. I mean, they said uh, what, what is going on with the share price here is purely market dynamics and has nothing to do with what we do as a business. He clearly yeah. said it, and he also said uh, by offering these additional shares, be prepared to lose everything or a substantial amount of your investment. I, and I mean. If the CEO of the company says this and say, OK, you know what? I actually, as the CEO, believe that this year is overvalued. Uh, stay away from this. <laughs> what a difference a year makes. <laughs> what a difference a year makes. Yeah, because uh, I mean, this, uh, let's just uh, zoom out here a little bit so that we see it. Let's go to a weekly chart. And I mean, um, uh, some annotations here, but they have been trading at what? Around uh, two dollars. Yeah. So. If you think about it, so they went from two dollars and uh, possibly facing bankruptcy to yep. seventy-two. I believe it was sixteen uh, two days ago. What what which was the high? So it's like holy cannoli. So crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey, talking about crazy. Um, I don't want to call him crazy because he's a genius. But Elon Musk. Uh, I mean, Elon Musk, Tesla CEO is moving the markets again so he tweeted this uh and when did he do this uh, late last night so late last night he tweeted this and say bitcoin a broken heart and a breakup meme so this is where everybody says what does this mean because he already said okay tesla will stop accepting bitcoin as a form of payment and he still has this massive holding of bitcoin uh, earlier this year, he bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. Can't remember at what price and whether it's worth more or less right now. Uh, but uh, this sends Bitcoin on a wild ride. So uh, this morning, Bitcoin, uh, let us see, uh, has been as low, has been dropping as low as uh, uh, down 8%. Uh, so where was the low? At, uh, at around 35000 576 uh, is bouncing back a little bit at 36,800. But oh boy, can he move the market? I, I mean, is this really true that Bitcoin is decoupled from everything else and it's just uh, being driven by Elon Musk's Twitter account, Mark? What do you think about that? I, you know what? To me, that's bizarre and also a little scary. You know, at, at first, I, I kind of got it, right? It, you know, there it just shaking things up a little bit made sense um but now just left and right you know it's like the the crypto traders are really paying attention to what elon's doing um and that's kind of scary yeah <laughs> and i mean it, it drags out all other cryptocurrencies so dogecoin yeah. here this morning also uh down 8.8 percent .8 now nine percent uh ethereum down uh 7.7 so i mean it, it always affects all of the cryptocurrencies right so yeah it, it's super interesting and this is why okay 
you know what, cryptocurrencies are probably a really good idea. Right now, do you really want to tie your investments to an instrument that is being driven by one guy tweeting something? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, especially like a substantial investment, right? <laughs> right, 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 right. So I'm not saying that it couldn't be a, a valuable investment in the long run, but right now, I mean, if Elon Musk can move it by 10% in a day, and this is what we saw last time, if you go back to Bitcoin, right? I mean, he basically on this day announced that, uh, oops, <clears throat> where'd you go, Mark? There you are. <laughs> okay. So on this day, he announced that Tesla will no longer accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. And then it spiraled down. So could we see this right now that this is just the beginning and we have a few others just following suit and uh, it spirals down? Who knows, right? Or is this just where it has found a bottom at around 32,000 here and uh, will go back up from there? I mean, trade what you see, not what you think. We shall see. All right. We shall see. Now, in a few moments, we have to jump into our masterclass. We have, but we have a few uh, earnings that came out this morning. Yeah. Uh, let's DocuSign. talk about these real quick. Doku, DocuSign. DocuSign. Yep, they came they beat out. Earnings. So, what's happening there? Yeah, they beat by sixteen cents. Reported better revenue and an upbeat outlook. So, uh, DocuSign, uh, strong earnings. Yep. So they are up uh, this morning seven percent pre-market. Because they say, you know what, more and more companies are adopting the electronic signature because they were kind of forced to last year with the pandemic. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense. So it's so much easier using DocuSign. Oh like, God. unless there's technology that comes out that just completely changes everything, they're going to be around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lulumon, Lulu. Lulu. We talked about earning or retailers. Yep. And uh, they reported a dollar sixteen. Earnings per share versus a 91 cent estimate and better revenue. They said they had a jump in e-commerce and a return to physical locations. It really helped the quarter. So, yeah, yeah, uh, that worked. And uh, so talking about retailers, also uh, five below a discount retailer. Uh, so five below. Uh, no, what is it? Isn't it five? Five. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Oh, I was looking at a different exchange. So five below another retailer, discount retailer here, uh, now up 7% this morning after they said, uh, well, yeah, profit and revenue exceeded the forecast because they said that they surged 162% in sales year over year. So and we talked about this. This is where some retailers say, oh, yeah, well, we had a smaller than expected loss. And here they're blowing it out of the out of the water, knocking it out of the park. We talked about this yesterday. <laughs> so they are up to $190 this morning. Not too bad. Okay. All right. So we are about to teach a masterclass on the wheel strategy, and uh, we got to hop over there. Uh, if you enjoyed this and it, if it helps you to know what is going on in the market, give us a like on your way out. And uh, also hit subscribe, hit the little notification bell. This way you get notified whenever we go live or release a new video. Have a great weekend and we will see you on Monday. Happy trading, everybody.